Hello Rich, my name is Herman Wiegman from GE Energy Storage Technologies out of Schenectady, New York. So tell me a little bit about what, uh, what you're exhibiting here today at, uh, at the Uptime Symposium. You bet Rich, it's, uh, we're really glad to present our new battery technology to the data center world. It's a disruptive energy storage technology which should really help you achieve a proper 20 year life in less footprint and less weight. It's a great product to really be disruptive in the data center marketplace. So, um, so how do you achieve the, uh, these uh, features that you're, you're talking about with, uh, well, with the new, longer life and less yeah. weight? It's a new energy storage technology. It's not based on lead acid. It's not based on lithium. It's based on a sodium metal halide system. It's a technology that GE found to be very valuable for some of its internal applications, such as hybrid locomotive. And we thought that this technology would also really be great for the data center world. And so we're promoting its advantages here. And because it's a high temperature sodium battery in a fully thermally insulated case, it's really independent of the temperature in the operating environment. We should have capability of operating from minus 40 degrees C up to plus 60 degrees C. So very nice for a data center, which might have cooling requirements. Our battery doesn't care. It can live in a hut space or in the outside environment. We also have a smaller footprint than what you're used to in a traditional lead acid battery, half the footprint. And our sodium metal halide technology is going to have really long life. Our battery capable of develop, uh, processing thousands of cycles, whereas maybe you're used to a lead acid system that can only do several hundred cycles. And finally, it has great high energy density, so a very small footprint. We'll also have a very highly reliable battery. Fully enclosed, all the connections are welded together, and uh, we're shooting for that 20 year life, true 20 year life, so you never have to replace it within the life of the uh, UPS or the data center floor space. Finally, no maintenance. Fully sealed, no acid to worry about. The battery management system, which is an electronics box on each module, will report out the battery's health. It's very easy to track sitting back in your facility's management center. How are my batteries doing this morning? You can query them, and they all report back how well they're doing, and how much runtime the battery has to offer. And you can monitor that over the life of the product. So it's a very nice technology to work with. No maintenance, no hassle. And, uh What's the status of the product in terms of who you're working with, what kind of installations you have, or where are you on the, the life cycle of it here? No, Rich, that's a great question. Where are we? General Electric is just starting to introduce this technology to the UPS data center marketplace. We're working right now with the UPS OEMs. So that would be the, the Lieberts, the APCs, the Powerwares, trying to get them to properly integrate and synchronize with our battery technology because it is a, a new disruptive technology and we want to make sure we're well integrated with them. So that when you purchase your next UPS, you have an option then to also have this great disruptive technology to give you high cycle life, less footprint for your application. So then once you have worked this out with the different uh, yeah. UPS companies, you can go to market and then... Yeah, so right now we're looking at uh, doing this integration over the next 12 months. And so hopefully after 12 months from now, which would be first quarter, second quarter of 2011, there would be products that would be able uh, to purchase on the marketplace with this Durathon battery from GE attached. The sodium metal halide technology is coming to market and we're getting there in the next uh, 8 to 12 months. So anytime you have a new disruptive technology, you know, there's always an education phase. How's that going for you? What seem to be the questions and issues that, that you're hearing from some of the folks here at uh, Uptime? Oh, absolutely. Education is a very important uh, component to introducing this new disruptive technology. And so we're taking Durathon a little bit on the road, for example, here at the Uptime Institute Symposium, but we're also asking interested parties to participate in our Voice of Customer Sensing sessions, and we're trying to integrate those people into uh, our educational webinars, into our in educational literature. We're trying to listen to them, too, so that uh, people in the industry can also help shape our product and how we go to market with it. Okay, well, listen, thanks for... Um uh, sharing uh, the information about your new offering with our readers. Hey, thank you so much for having me.